has just discovered that the Biden family, possibly Joe Biden himself, has offshore bank accounts. Here's James Comer. With Joe, I suspect there are offshore accounts. The IRS whistleblowers confirmed when I asked if they had documents pertaining to foreign accounts, and they said they did. Wow. But they couldn't turn them over to us. They have to go through that process and turn it over to the Ways and Means Committee, and I requested they do that, and they said they would. Let that sink in. IRS whistleblowers have indicated that they have documents suggesting that the Biden family, possibly Joe Biden himself, are hiding money offshore. These IRS whistleblowers have been asked to produce the documents relating to Biden's offshore bank accounts relating to the House and Means Committee. Now, these documents can't go to Comer. They have to go to House Ways and Means because they're the only committee permitted to see it. Sources tell Primetime they have not seen the documents yet, but when they do, it goes through a vote, and then the documents will be released. So put this into perspective. Mitt Romney was eviscerated for having offshore bank accounts in the 2012 election. He disclosed them. He took a hit, period. But Mitt Romney ran Bain Capital, an international leverage buyout shop with a worldwide clientele in finance. Joe Biden bragged for decades that he was the poorest man in the Senate. Joe Biden's never had a job in the private sector. Number one, why would Joe Biden receive money through shell companies from his son? And why would Joe Biden have an offshore bank account? We're talking about pay your fair share. Amtrak Joe, the kid from Scranton, has foreign bank accounts. That doesn't seem like the kind of thing that good old Uncle Joe Biden would have had going on. And why would any Biden family members have offshore bank accounts? And how did the prosecutor in Delaware not touch that? Well, because he didn't touch the laptop or the $10 million bribe document either, or serve a single search warrant, or interview a single member of the Biden family. Of course, he didn't touch the offshore accounts. Is this where they're holding 10 for the big guy? Is this the offshore account? Jimmy Biden's maybe, the brother? Or do they keep the offshore bank account in the name of the granddaughter? You remember the granddaughter who was just a phenomenal international business consultant that was getting paid by the Chinese, Ukrainians, and the Romanians. Might explain why Biden's Department of Justice and Hunter's legal team tried so hard to push through this sleazy plea deal that gave Hunter immunity for every crime he committed for six years. They want the plea deal papered because once you start zeroing in on foreign foreign bank accounts, foreign lobbying, foreign agents, foreign business partners, foreign policy, foreign deals, that's fertile ground for impeachment. That's when you get into conspiracy, money laundering, even treason. And that's why this looks more and more like a bribery ring. Remember, bribery is named specifically as an impeachable offense in the Constitution. It's not quid pro quo like they try to get Trump for. This is why the plea deal was a containment operation. That's why most of the deal wasn't written down. Democrats, better than anybody, understand politics. And the politics are moving from a Hunter problem to a Joe problem. And when it's a Joe problem, it becomes their problem. So the media is ignoring all of the facts of the case, and they're framing this politically poisonous scandal as Republicans are criminalizing love. They are going to try to indict a father for loving his son who has been addicted to drugs and or alcohol and without evidence of the father doing anything other than loving that son. He has a son who clearly has a drug addiction and that's why he was offered a diversion program. But it shows that no one's above the law and so he's, he's pleading guilty, but that still isn't enough for the Republican. I plead... Not guilty, Your Honor. I love crack. May the court have mercy on me. They teach that in law school, right? The crack cocaine defense? Well, I'm not paying my taxes this year. I'm just going to hit the pipe. They're even saying, who cares if the president's son can commit crimes we'd go to jail for? He's the president's son. He can do whatever he wants. Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden, who was a former crack addict. Let's just call it what it is. Yes, he was on crack. He's not going to jail, ladies and gentlemen. The Republicans in the House want to be in an uproar. They want to be apoplectic because, my God, preferential treatment was accorded to the son of the president of the United States of America. Why the hell would it? 
preferential treatment be accorded to the son of the president of the United States. If I'm the commander in chief, I'm in charge of law enforcement throughout the country. Why wouldn't I have an inside track? I agree with Stephen A. The president's going to try to keep his son out of trouble. I get it. But that's not the point. The president is trying to keep himself out of trouble. Biden made his son the fall guy. His son should have been in rehab, but his father's flying him all over the world in Air Force Two, so he gets greased by foreign agents so he can put it in the family bank account. And one of those family bank accounts could be offshore. Is that why the Ukrainians said it'd take 10 years to find Joe's 10 million? Maybe. So Biden might love his son, but this is more than about love. This is about political survival. Hunter has to get the sleazy immunity deal because if he doesn't, and this investigation continues, Joe Biden's going to get impeached if you follow the money. That's why this wasn't a plea deal at all. It was a full pardon attempt. The deal broke every sentencing guideline on the books. No wonder Hunter walked into court with a smile on his face. According to the New York Times, he even shook the hands of the prosecutors who spent five years investigating him. What defendant reaches across the table and shakes the hands with the prosecution? Now, primetime got our hands on the court hearing transcript. This judge, Mary Ellen Norica, who, by the way, is donated to Republicans and Democrats, and whose appointment was signed off by both Democrat senators in Delaware, was shocked when she probed the plea deal. This judge asked the prosecutors five times if there was any precedent here for a plea deal that gave Hunter full immunity from any charges in his past or arising from any investigation going forward. And the Delaware prosecutor said, quote, no, Your Honor, this was crafted to suit the facts and circumstances. Ah, yes, the circumstances. The circumstances being that his father could end up in prison, too. What stunned the judge even more was that the defense and the prosecution hid the details of the deal from her. Quote, I don't understand how you have an agreement not to pursue other charges in the case, the misdemeanor case, and you say that is not part of his plea agreement. And you won't believe the prosecutor's answer because the plea agreement does not include that. <laughs> Hunter's legal team was afraid that if Trump was elected in 2024, he'd charge Hunter Biden. So they wrote into this deal, only this judge could charge Hunter Biden. And the judge looks at the prosecutor and Hunter and says, I can't prosecute people. I'm the judge. This is like in football. When they run a trick play, they get sniffed out and they turn the ball over. The judge ordered Hunter to get a job and knock off the drugs and alcohol. No wonder Hunter stormed out of the court angry. Daddy, you said this was going to work out. I was sitting about 20 feet behind the president's son in the courtroom yesterday as the deal unraveled. Hunter Biden appeared increasingly upset. Axios is reporting that Hunter's whole legal team was, quote, fuming after the hearing. One of Hunter's lawyers compared the judge to the OJ judge. Remember Lance Edo for losing control of the courtroom? But NBC News's takeaway from the plea deal catastrophe was this. Joe Biden's innocent. Federal prosecutors in that hearing yesterday saying that their investigation continues. Now, it is important to keep in mind while Republicans believe that there is a tie between Hunter Biden's business dealings and the president himself, they have yet to provide any hard evidence. The only way anybody can say that there's no evidence is if they haven't looked at the evidence. So if you never look at the laptop, listen to the whistleblowers, read the FBI informant document, and listen to Joe's voicemail to his son, then yeah, there's... Definitely no evidence that Joe Biden helped Hunter Biden's business. When you read the email from Hunter saying, the only reason China and Ukraine are paying me is because they want access to my dad, you can consider that hard evidence. But if you don't read that, you're right, there's none. If you don't acknowledge that Joe Biden flew his son to China on Air Force Two, or acknowledge that Hunter took business partners to the White House when Biden was president a hundred times, or acknowledge that Hunter put his dad on the phone with his business partner dozens of times, or acknowledge that Hunter set up meetings, lunches, and dinners with his business partners and his dad dozens of times, or acknowledge all of the pictures with his son's business partners, or read the emails saying Hunter's paying for Joe's monthly expenses with dirty bribes, then yeah, 
Yeah, you're right. Joe's totally clean. So I'm waiting to see what Democrats are going to say when Hunter's business partner, Devin Archer, testifies and when James Comer releases more bank records showing more dirty money and when whistleblowers turn over more documents to Congress showing the Biden family, maybe Joe himself had an offshore bank account. This media is guilty of voter suppression. But in this election, it's not going to stick. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.